Hello everyone! In this video, we will be exploring the transformative power that African youth possess in today's tech-driven world. Together, we are going to see how tech skills development and innovation among African youth are not just transforming lives, but also reshaping the future of our entire continent and the world at large. Please stay tuned. If you enjoy our content, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section so we can continue to provide educational content and reach even more people. Okay, now that you have done so, let's embark on this journey to see how youth-powered tech in Africa is preparing us for a bright future. Africa's youth are not just the heartbeat, but also the very soul of our continent. By 2030, Africa is poised to become the youngest population in the world. Let's not look at these numbers just as statistics. They are a testament to our vast, untapped potential. Young people in any society are the flag bearers of innovation, and any society comprising predominantly young people is bound to experience significant growth. And that is the future we are talking about. What excites us here is that several African nations are making significant strides to harness this potential. Let's take a look at countries like Rwanda and Ghana. These countries are setting a precedent with their youth-centric educational and training programs. Rwanda in particular has launched ambitious initiatives focusing on information technology and creative arts, aiming to transform its young population into a tech-savvy workforce capable of driving innovation and growth. Similarly, Ghana is carving a path for its youth through an emphasis on entrepreneurship in education, thus nurturing a new generation of business leaders and innovators. Still in Ghana, the startup scene, particularly in Accra, is thriving under nurturing structures like the MEST Incubator which trains and funds aspiring entrepreneurs, fostering a robust environment for business creation. The Ghana Climate Innovation Center is another noteworthy initiative, guiding businesses focused on environmental sustainability and green technology. Senegal is on board too. The government's Digital Senegal 2025 strategy is a bold step towards enhancing digital skills and infrastructure. Moreover, initiatives like the Delegation for Rapid Entrepreneurship DER, are specifically designed to support young entrepreneurs, particularly in the digital and technology sectors, showcasing a commitment to nurturing a digitally proficient and entrepreneurial generation. Kenya, which is mostly known as the Center for African Tech Innovation, continues to foster a robust environment for youth development. Kenya's innovation hubs, such as iHub and Nalab, are central to advancing tech skills and entrepreneurship among young people. Government-led initiatives like the Ajira Digital Program further demonstrate Kenya's dedication to equipping its youth with essential digital skills and opportunities in freelancing and remote work. All these digital literacy programs are definitely molding young minds for a tech-driven future and it won't be long before we start seeing a spiral of groundbreaking inventions, not just in our major cities, but also in remote areas. South Africa is also focused on grooming its youth to not just participate, but lead in STEM fields. And by the way, STEM is an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Still in South Africa, there is a great focus on vocational training and skills development, particularly in technology and entrepreneurship. Just like South Africa, Egypt is also reforming the education system with a stronger emphasis on STEM, reflecting a strategic approach to prepare the youth for the future. Expanding this panorama, Egypt's burgeoning startup ecosystem is supported by initiatives like the Technology Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center, offering both resources and support to tech entrepreneurs. The Greek campus in Cairo stands as a symbol of collaborative innovation, a place where young entrepreneurs gather to share ideas and build their dreams. With all these happening across our continent, 
all I can feel is hope for the future for our young innovators and entrepreneurs. Ethiopia's tech-driven initiatives and entrepreneurial growth programs highlight a shared vision across the continent. These programs and initiatives across various African nations are not just about equipping the youth with skills. They represent a collective effort to mold a generation of problem solvers, innovators, and leaders who are poised to take Africa into a future of prosperity and global competitiveness. For example, Ethiopia's adoption of digital learning platforms, particularly in higher education, exemplifies this shift. By integrating technology into education, Ethiopia is set to produce digitally literate graduates, ready for the challenges of the modern workplace. Similarly, Rwanda's ambition to become a regional tech hub is reflected in its educational system. The implementation of smart classrooms is not just about enhancing digital literacy. It's about preparing a generation for a future where technology is integral. Nigeria is also revolutionizing its vocational training with a focus on agriculture. As we all know, agriculture is the backbone of many African economies, and empowering our youths with information technology in this sector will transform eager learners into skilled professionals and entrepreneurs, ready to contribute meaningfully to our economies. Still in Nigeria, the Tony Elumelu Foundation is not merely a funding body, it's a beacon of hope and guidance for a new wave of African entrepreneurs. By providing not just financial support, but also invaluable mentorship, the foundation is nurturing a generation of business leaders equipped with both capital and knowledge to succeed. If we continue on this path, the future of Africa is bright. What these organizations know is that entrepreneurship and innovation stand as the dynamic engines powering Africa's economic growth. Across this vibrant continent, a network of these incubators and accelerators like the Tony Elumelu Foundation is sprouting, each playing a crucial role in cultivating young business minds. This spirit will soon be a continent-wide movement. Beyond these, other African nations are equally invested in this youth tech metamorphosis. Tanzania is redefining its educational landscape with reforms that emphasize practical skills and entrepreneurship, preparing its youth for the real-world challenges and opportunities. Morocco is another African nation that emphasizes STEM education and vocational training in areas like renewable energy to align its workforce with emerging global trends. Morocco's investment in entrepreneurial initiatives, such as Startup Morocco, accelerates the growth of innovative businesses, while its technology parks, like Technopark Casablanca, serve as incubators for tech startups, driving forward the nation's technological prowess. The Ivory Coast's initiatives in digital education are pivotal in preparing its youth for the digital age. By incorporating ICT training in schools, the country is nurturing a generation that is digitally literate and ready for the future. Furthermore, the focus on entrepreneurial education is crafting a breed of young innovators and self-starters. Botswana and Zambia are also making significant strides. Botswana's focus on skills for innovation and entrepreneurship and its emphasis on technical and vocational education and training are ensuring that its youth are equipped with practical and in-demand skills. Zambia's approach to tailoring education towards employment and its youth skills empowerment programs are aimed at reducing unemployment and fostering a culture of self-reliance. This collective effort across the continent signifies a powerful shift in Africa's approach to tech education. By aligning education and skills training with the needs of the modern economy and the aspirations of its youth, Africa is not just preparing its young population for the future. It's actively shaping that future, turning its demographic dividend into a dynamic force for growth and development. One area that is bridging Africa's youth skills gap is e-learning. Across the continent, e-learning platforms are revolutionizing the educational landscape, democratizing access to knowledge and skills, 
This transformation is not confined to urban centers. It extends to the most remote corners of Africa, marking a new era of educational inclusivity. Andala stands as a prominent example of this digital revolution. More than just an educational institution, Andala trains African developers and connects them with global tech companies, creating a pipeline of skilled professionals who are part of a worldwide workforce. This approach transcends traditional education, offering a practical and global perspective on learning. Beyond structured training programs, mobile technology is redefining the educational experience. It's no longer just a means of communication. It's a powerful educational tool, bringing learning resources directly to students, regardless of their location. In rural villages where traditional educational resources are scarce, mobile learning is not just convenient, it's transformative. In Malawi, the exploration of e-learning solutions is particularly significant in rural areas where traditional educational infrastructures face numerous challenges. Mobile education projects in Malawi are piloting new flexible learning models, ensuring that education is not a privilege of the urban few but a right for all. Cameroon's efforts to incorporate ICT into its educational curriculum and the establishment of tech training centers are further evidence of this continental trend. These initiatives are designed to develop critical IT skills among the youth, preparing them for a tech-driven future. Namibia's embrace of technology to improve educational access and quality highlights another aspect of this revolution. The government's collaboration with the private sector to introduce innovative tech solutions in education is a strategic move to ensure that the country's youth are not left behind in the global digital race. Uganda's vibrant entrepreneurial landscape is highlighted by the rise of tech hubs like the Innovation Village in Kampala. These hubs are not just physical locations, but thriving communities that foster innovation and support young entrepreneurs in technology. Governmental and non-governmental initiatives in Uganda are also actively promoting entrepreneurship among the youth, especially in sectors crucial to the country's economy. Tunisia, too, is part of this entrepreneurial wave. With programs like Flat Six Labs Tunis providing funding and mentorship, the country is nurturing a generation of entrepreneurs. Tunisia's focus on innovation in sectors like IT and clean energy is creating a fertile ground for startups, bringing novel solutions to these fields. Despite these strides, challenges persist. Limited resources, access to technology, and socio-economic barriers are still roadblocks. But overcoming these isn't just a goal, it's a necessity. Governments, private sectors, and international allies are joining forces to invest in Africa's youth, recognizing that their development is key to the continent's sustainable future. This is a collective journey towards creating a resilient Africa, powered by its most valuable resource, its young people. The story of Africa's youth and skills development is one of hope, potential, and transformation. As we equip our youth with skills and opportunities, we're not just paving the way for economic prosperity, but empowering a generation to lead, create, and innovate. This is more than development. It's igniting the spark of potential in millions of young Africans, steering our continent towards a future that's bright, resilient, and full of possibilities. Thanks so much for watching until the end. We encourage you to explore more educational content on our channel and also recommend our content to your family and friends. Happy New Year 2024, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Peace.